Hello, this is Amit from Digital Inspiration and here's a demo of my new Google Docs add-on that will help you save email messages and file attachments from Gmail to your Google Drive automatically. You can use the add-on to save anything from Gmail to Google Drive including office files, images or even videos. So here's my Gmail mailbox and uh, I have a few messages that I wish to save in my Google Drive. Now one of these emails is a receipt from the App Store and as you can see this is a rich text email, uh, HTML email uh, with no attachments. The other message is a long press release and if you scroll to the bottom you will find that it has a couple of attachments, a PDF file, an image file as well as a Microsoft Office document. So what we are trying to do is uh, automate and automatically save uh, all these files into our Google Drive. So the Google add-on is already running in the background. I'll go to Google Drive and there you have a folder called Gmail files. Now uh, I choose Gmail files. You can choose any folder where you wish to save those files. And uh, there you see a set of files. These have all been generated by the add-on. So the first file is a PDF file and this is the PDF file generated from the iTunes store receipt. And as you can see, it is exactly like the original HTML message. Then you have a various set of attachments that have been generated from the other email message and they're all saved in their native formats. Okay, let's now see how this was done. So the first thing you need to do is install the save emails and attachments add-on. You can find a link to this in the show notes. Once the Google add-on is installed, go to Google Spreadsheets and under the add-ons menu, choose save emails and attachments and choose create new rule. If you have ever created uh, filters in Gmail, this process is very similar. So what you need to do is define a rule and any email, whether it's old or new, if it matches that rule will be saved into your Google Drive. So for instance, you can set up a rule where uh, any emails coming from domains like TripAdvisor or Expedia go into the travel folder of your Google Drive. Or if you are working on a project where you get uh, backups over email, you can have a rule that says that any emails with backup in the subject line, the attachment should be saved to a backup folder in your Google Drive. Similarly, if you are running out of space in your Gmail account, you can specify the message size here and any emails that have big attachments will be saved to your Google Drive and then you can safely delete them from your Gmail account and recover some space. Coming back to our example, let's say I want to save all my important emails to Google Drive. So I'll go to the labels drop down and there you see a list of all the Gmail labels that are available in my account. I'll choose important here. I'll leave all the other conditions blank but uh, turn on save emails as well as save attachments options and then I need to select my Google Drive folder. Now I can use any of the existing Drive folders or I can create one for saving these emails. So I go to Google Drive and create a set of new folders. Now that the folders have been created, I go back to the Google Sheets and click the select button and here is a list of all the available folders that are in my drive and I can visually select any of them. Now when I click uh, and select a folder, essentially what it is doing is it is getting the URL of the folder and pasting it in the input box. So instead of using the file picker, I can also manually copy paste the URLs directly into the input box. So now we are all set, so I'll click the create rule button to activate this rule. So there's a little notification saying that the rule has been successfully created. Now for this example, let's create another rule. Now this time what I'm trying to do is collect all the iTunes store receipts and save them to my Google Drive. So because all these receipts are coming from a particular email address uh, from the iTunes.com address, so I can specify iTunes.com as the from address. And because they will have the word receipt in the subject line, I can also specify that condition. I don't want to save the attachments, just the email message and all these emails should be saved into the Apple folder of Google Drive that I just created. So that's pretty much it. The program is running in the background monitoring a mailbox every hour and every time it finds a matching email, it saves it to your Google Drive. So in this example, if we go to Google Drive and open the new folders that we just created, you see that they're all populated with emails and they've all been saved from your Gmail account automatically with this add-on. The add-on will run in the background and connect to your Gmail account every hour. But if you can't wait that long, you can also run the rules manually. So for that, go to the add-ons menu again and choose manage rules. Here select the rule that you want to run manually from the drop down and then click the run button. 
You can also use the same manage rules window to delete or deactivate any rule. Now how do you know whether a message has been saved to your Google Drive or not? So for that, what the add-on does is it applies a label called save to your messages. So that indicates that the particular message has been processed and saved to your Google Drive and it will not be processed again in the next iteration. The add-on is completely free but if you go premium you get to create unlimited number of rules and it will also process your email messages at a much faster rate. Check out my website at controlq.org for more Google scripts and tutorials. Thanks.